Good morning, the lovely and dramatic community that is YouTube. It is probably, I think, 11.30, and if you hear background noises, I'm sorry. There's just people in my house doing some renovations. So, yeah. Anyways, today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Marina Joyce uproar, saying that she has been abused, that she has drug addictions, or that she has completely gone insane, and Another theory is that she is, and there's an even crazier theory, is that she's a captive of either a person or ISIS. ISIS, that is probably one of the stupidest theories I've heard so far about this case, but I'm going to be talking about Marina Joyce and how she is needing help, but not in the way you think she is. I don't think Marina is actually being abused or anything like that. I think that she actually has a mental problem, not... I'm not saying this to offend her or anyone or any of her followers, I just think that maybe she has slight autism because in a lot her, of her videos, especially her most recent ones, she is using a lot of gestures. Gestures that involve hand motions and repetitive speech. So when you notice in her video, she's always talking like this with her hands up in the air and like autism because in autism, because in autistic patients, they always do repetitive motions and they always like, you know, they're, they always got to be doing something, I guess. That or like, she's just a really nervous person, which I'll be getting into later on. But for now, we're just going to go with the autism theory. Diving in a little bit deeper, she, I want to provide you with some Google evidence here. If I keep looking to the corner, it's because there's a mirror and my camera doesn't have an actual flippy thing so I can see myself. Anyways, so it says here, 10 symptoms of adult autism. First one is nonverbal challenges. Most people can express their themselves and communicate in nonverbal ways if they have to. Adults with autism have significant challenges when it comes to interpretation and displaying types of nonverbal communication. They're all... They have trouble maintaining eye contact, interpreting facial expressions, and using motions and gestures. That's when I was talking about the motions, gestures, where she's always doing this. Repetitive behavior. Adults suffering from autism tend to repeat the same words, phrases, and behaviors throughout the day. Like I said again, she repeats a lot of her words in her videos. At first, I thought this was because she was trying to send a message because I was one of those people that believed... Um, she was being abused or that she was a captive or that she was trying to send out a message to her viewer, viewers asking for help. But really, it's just, you know, that she has a maybe a speech impediment or autism or is she just really nervous speaker when talking to a camera? Like how I kind of am. I believe that she has anxiety because, well, if you notice in a lot of her recent videos, She's very hyperactive and sometimes she is almost in this very tense state, in this very tense behavior. That's probably also due to anemia because anxiety is also linked to anemia, but it's also linked to a whole bunch of other things. I just think that she has a little bit of an anxiety issue that she's probably working on and that explains her weird behavior. I also wanted to talk about her restless leg syndrome. In one of her videos called Let's Talk About Sex, yeah, she's seen fidgeting and just constantly moving her legs up and down. She's always, she's like really jumping in that video and a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, she, it's her abuser, he's watching her and she's fidgeting and she's just this whole theory that she's in danger. She's not in danger, she just has restless leg syndrome, which is also another anemia. Part two of this video is... That is that Marina Joyce is actually extremely anemic, so anemic that she needs IV treatments. If you don't know what IV treatments is, it's just fluids coming from a needle into your arm or your hand. Sometimes it could be your leg, depending on just the blood, uh, the blood vessels. And if you don't know what anemia is, I'm going to read it to you. And it says... A condition marked by a deficiency of red blood cells of the hemoglobin in the blood, resulting in pallor and weariness. So basically it just makes you more fatigued, it makes you tired, gets you headaches, makes you more pale because, you know, you don't have enough red blood cells. Sometimes it, it is also a cause of deficiency from B12, which my mother has. Some other type of deficiency, I forget, but we're not talking about that right now. 
because I believe that she has a different type of anemia, like I said, that requires her to take IV treatment either in the hospital once a month or once every couple of days or at home by herself or with a parent. And how I concluded to this is because of the pink band that she wears around her wrist. If you look at back to a lot of her videos, especially uh, let's say the last 10 or 15 videos or so, she is wearing a pink band on her right wrist. If you're wondering what these are, it's just paint. I did some research because I'm a nerd like that and I searched up what the pink band means and a pink labeled bracelet featuring the letters RE alerts hospital staff to a restricted extremity, which usually means that an in injury or medical procedure has caused a patient's arm to be swollen or in pain and applied blood pressure, cuffs or IVs should be avoided. Pink bands should be worn by the patient on their affected extremity, so for in this case it'd be Marina's right arm, and a nurse should be notified immediately if it breaks off becomes unreadable and if it falls off. So because she she is constantly wearing this pink bracelet, it probably means that she has nurses or a person give her IV treatments to her left arm rather than her right arm because her right arm is her, what is it called? Restricted extremity. So if I'm correct, it means that um, you're not allowed to put any IVs or draw bloods or put injections of drugs into that arm because it could cause bruising or maybe the vein is not big enough. That happened to me when I drew blood one time. They were unable to go with my left arm because my vein was too small, but my right arm vein was big enough. There's a whole bunch of reasons why she could be taking IV. One, like I said, is anemia. Or it could be a whole bunch of different things that I don't know about because I tried researching why you would have IV treatments at home and nothing really came up. If something does come up, let me know in the comments below. But it says here, vitamin deficiency anemic. If your digestive system has trouble absorbing vitamin B12 from the food you eat, you may need vitamin B12 shots. At first, you may receive the shots every other day. Eventually, Eventually, you'll need shots just once a month, which may continue for life depending on your situation. So depending on Marina's situation. And then there's anemic of chronic disease. There's aplistic anemia. So this also includes blood transfusions and boost levels of blood, red blood cells. And then there's also the finicky eye mo movements. I've seen a lot of comments in her videos saying things like, oh, she's looking to the side, that must mean, you know, she's looking at someone or her abuser and, you know, it's just like all that, those comments again, you could see it for yourself in her own videos. But I think it's also, it be linked to her just constantly looking at herself in the camera. Because you know how most YouTubers nowadays have cameras where they have like, like these little flippy, flippy sides so that they could see if they're the focus of the video and I think that's what she's doing. She doesn't look at all anxious as a lot of people say and even if she does look anxious I think that's just her. the creases of her eyes. That's just how she's making her eyes look and it's part of her editing. So I don't think it is at all linked to any type of danger that she's in. Now her help me in her most recent video is honestly I don't know if I could call that a cry for help. I think that's more of just again editing and it's probably just some other person saying it or maybe it's just our brains reacting to it and thinking oh she's saying help but really she could be saying something like happy i don't know you know something that sounds like it but isn't because of the way our brain perceives the way that we think that we hear that her most recent video has oh i think like four million three million views she has edited it she has scripted it in a such a way that we that will pull viewers in and thinking oh no she's in danger when yet it's probably just her trying to seek more attention for her video and probably for herself yeah i think that's pretty much it i i just think that she's a sick person probably in constant pain which is why she's always like showing almost pain and tenseness because of her disorder or her medical problem that she has so there you have it. There's my speculation and there's my proof that I tried giving to you guys. I hope I didn't fail that. Like I said, it's just speculation. If I offended her, I'm sorry to you, Marina. And if I offended her followers, again, I'm sorry. But, you know, that's just the way YouTube works, really. Like, 
the whole internet. If you have any suggestions for new videos, comment them down below. Um, I'm going to be having a new video up next week if you want to see that. Like, you know, you could stay because I'm doing a DIY. That's why there's paint all over my hand and probably in my hair. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Bye.